I'm gonna try to do a long fast. I'm thinking about 30 days. <laughs> this wall it's a good wall for practicing some balance the faster you go the more sketchy it gets I like to come back here and meditate sometimes sometimes there's some big deer and they don't even get up See if they're back here right now. Usually there's a couple big deer back there. There's some babies. One time I was meditating right here on this rock. And right back here, there's a little baby deer just chilling. So anyway, I wanted to talk. Um, I've taken like a week off from doing any videos from YouTube and it was pretty nice. So I did a diet. I started about two months ago. Not even really a diet, but it's called the ketogenic diet. So I say it's not a diet because you're not trying to starve yourself. I'm not counting calories. The only thing I'm doing is not eating carbs for the most part. I'm not, uh, I just asked my wife, is this okay? Is that okay? Is this okay? Whatever. She does the science behind it. And, um, Man, this uh, low-carb, high-fat diet, not, doctors, not Dr. Atkins diet. The Dr. Atkins diet was high-protein. This one isn't high-protein. This one is moderate protein, but high-fat. And I'll tell you what, man, this diet is working for me, straight up. I don't know if you all can see it on my face. Probably look better if I shaved. But um, I've lost somewhere between 20 and 25 pounds consistently in two months and like I said I eat cheese I eat guacamole I eat uh, well my favorite thing I'll just tell you we have a place out here in Austin Texas called um, Kidoba sort of like a Chipotle or we have also out here Freebirds um, but better they don't limit how much cheese you have and they don't limit how much guacamole so I can straight up say hey dude give me another handful and I do I'm a regular there, and so they kind of give me whatever I want, but as a rule, that's their rule. If you want more, you can have more. Um, some places want to charge you extra cheese, and they measure out some tiny little spoon like Freebirds. Dude, I'm not digging that at all. So anyway, um, I don't get a tortilla there anymore, you know? Um, and I don't eat the rice and the beans, so I get double meat. I put on queso. Um, that's like... Uh, that's like nacho cheese sauce for those who don't know. Out in California, I wasn't really aware of queso until I moved to Texas. So almost every restaurant out here has queso of some sort. But um, so yeah, I'll put double meat. It'll be chicken and steak. Then I'll add uh, queso. Then I'll add some bell peppers grilled and uh, two handfuls of cheese shredded on top of the queso. And then I'll add two big spoonfuls of guacamole, and then I'll have them put sour cream around the very top. And this is awesome. One meal, I get to eat half. The other half I can have later for dinner, and it's perfect. I just can't eat the whole thing. I'm not trying to only eat half. I'm just full. And, you know, five, six hours will go by, and I won't be hungry again. And, you know, my, my mind might say, hey, maybe you should have a snack. Maybe you should eat something before bed. Anyway, I'm blathering on. Long story short, I dropped 20, 25 pounds, probably closer to 25 pound range right now. And I haven't even lifted a weight. I know I need to get back and start working out. I'm wanting to get back and start working out. I'm just kind of not really, not really sure when the best time. It sounds like I hear a deer coming down that hill. I'm not really sure when the best time to do that would be. I've considered taking a couple weeks before I do a fast. Um, did I tell you I was gonna do a fast? So let me just cut to the chase. I was gonna do a couple weeks working out before I broke into a, just a 
long water fast. But after doing more thinking about it, I think I want to really see what kind of fat I can drop before I start adding muscle. I'm not concerned about losing muscle on fasting. Um, I used to be pretty bulky at one time and muscle has pretty good memory, so I'm not tripping on that coming back at all. Um, but besides the one or two days maybe of skateboarding I do a week, uh, that's the only exercise I'm really getting. So, fasting. I'm gonna start tomorrow. So, today is Sunday. I'm eating today. So, I've been eating on a ketogenic diet straight for pretty much two months. So, my body's already probably detoxed from the sugars and the carbs. So, I feel like it's not gonna be an issue for me. I'm gonna try to do a long fast. I'm thinking about 30 days. And, and you probably think, that's crazy, dude. You're not fat enough for that. And yeah, I may not be fat enough still for that. I think I've got 20 to 30 pounds maybe I could lose to totally be ripped, shredded. Okay, so at the time I sh shoot this video right now, I'm probably weighing about 202 in the morning. So 20 to 25 pounds would put me somewhere around 175, 180. And I think that's about right. I think I would be really lean. I would have a very low percent body fat. And that's really what I want. And then I can go back after this fast and start, start getting back on a ketogenic diet again because, man, it feels healthier to me. If you haven't looked it up yet, look it up. Debunk it. Look it up. Debunk it. Go back and forth. If you feel comfortable with it, do it. If you're under 18, I'm not recommending you do anything. So do your own due diligence here. Um, this, is, this is the right move for me, and I bet I'm going to see some great healing results. There's so many things about fasting even. If you haven't looked it up, like short-term, long-term fast, the uh, health benefits it has for your body. But I did four days before. It was kind of more of a, um, a spiritual thing I did, and I think I started out to do three days. I ended up doing four. Um, the first three days was pretty difficult. So I ended up going four whole days with just water only. And man, it felt great. What it does to me, I feel like it sort of resets your thinking about food. You know, what you need to eat, what you think you need to eat. But anyway, guys, peace out, dudes. I'm gonna get out of here. If you keep your eyes forward and you don't look at the wall, this is very easy to walk on and very easy to jog on too. It's really quite simple.